durian. Yes, in this episode, we are all about the king of fruits. Whether you think it smells like rotten onions or the best damn thing you long for every year, the fruit has made a name and demand for itself. Here, we will help you find your desired durian. We'll break down the species, how to tell them apart based on its taste profile, color, the best time to buy it, and figure out why do some of us hate it so much. There are over a hundred types of durians registered in our national crop list, but only a select few are more commonly sold. My favorite durian, always the Musang King. But aside from the well-loved Musang King, can you tell the other fruits apart? On this chart, the more yellow the fruit is, the sweeter the fruit should be. The recommended fruit for beginners would be the D13, as its taste is not as strong nor overpowering. The Musang King is well loved for a reason. It has the perfect balance of a bittersweet flavor with a sticky, creamy texture. You may begin smelling them as early as May, all the way to as late as October. But the best time to buy the durian is during its peak season between June to August. Remember, you can find the best durians at its cheapest during harvest season, the prime month, July. Here are some handy tips when you're out buying. If you're looking for the fresh durian, first you must see the skin. Skin will be crunchy, shining, and then the bottom, no cracking. Uh, and then you, when you're shaking, you can feel inside is uh, moving, so there will be a fresh one. You can also scrape the stalk and look out for a green hue. Each fruit looks similar on the outside, but the Musang King does have one distinct feature, the big star at the bottom. So, as much as a lot of us love durians, why is it that some people can't stand the smell of the fruit? <laughs> The combination of 50 compounds in a durian is what gives it stench. Researchers found that the durian had amplified the smelly gene that produces sulfur-related chemicals, which we're not fond of. Well, what actually happens is it depends a lot on two factors. The first factor is actually the physiology of how it actually smell. Depending on the odorants and which receptors it clings onto, it sets off a different sense of smell and it's very unique to the individual. If it matches up in a positive way, that means you get more of the pleasant type of smells from the durian. The person will tend to look at it and describe the durian as a positive and sweet smelling experience. So let me bring more to the psychology of things. It's having to do a lot with expectations. So basically the expectation is higher of the desirability of the fruit. We even call it the king of the fruits. Perhaps we have become accustomed to it and understand the irresistible reward that comes with it. Whether you love it or despise it, the durian has become part of a Malaysian identity that is much to be devoured and be proud of. Are you a fan of durian?